This is WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. I'm Brendan Plays, and we are kicking SmackDown off tonight with a match to determine the next number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. And it is a man making his debut here in the series, known as Karrion Cross, one of the most dominant, devastating superstars in the WWE, gets his chance to show us what he can do once again at the highest level. Karrion Cross, his first match here in the series. Scarlett, we know, will be with him, but tonight she's not here because this is a fatal four-way match. And she's been instructed to stay in the back, stay away, because this could lead to a lot of carnage and chaos. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at our recent WWE Payback pay-per-view, it was Kevin Owens defeating Shinsuke Nakamura to become the brand new Intercontinental Champion. Tonight, we're going to find out who will face Kevin Owens at the upcoming SummerSlam pay-per-view. First up is Karrion Cross. Next up, we've got ourselves another superstar who's only just starting to get his Universe Mode run up and running. It's LA Knight. He's uh, you know, done a few different things. Um, of course, been involved in some modeling. He's always a bit loud and brash and out there, but um, LA Knight does things the way he wants to. He's his own man, and he's got a lot of potential to really take that next step to the top. He's got one win to his name so far in the series, and another man who's just getting things back underway. It is Johnny Gargano makes his Universe Mode debut tonight. So a lot of newcomers getting their shot here tonight to potentially become the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. This is a huge chance for Johnny Gargano. And we know he is certainly very highly talented in the ring. One of the great technical competitors right now in the WWE. He's an underdog, he's undersized, but that doesn't mean that he doesn't bring a hell of a punch, a hell of a fight to every match he's involved in. So looking forward to seeing what he can do and the last man in this four-way is the former champion. We've seen plenty of him, and we have seen him have a lot of success. It's Shinsuke Nakamura, but at payback, of course, one of those two losses came his way by the hands of Kevin Owens. Nakamura, the former champion, would love another shot to get a chance to win back that championship, but he's going to have to do it the hard way. He's not being guaranteed a rematch. Instead, he's going to have to earn it, which is not easy. I feel like that's a tough road to really come across because he's going to have to go through three guys. Not only three guys, he's got Karrion Cross and Johnny Gargano who we haven't seen so far in the series. How do you plan for someone that you don't even know is going to be involved in this match? And then LA Knight who's only had one match. So it's incredibly difficult for Nakamura tonight. Couldn't game plan for any of this. Had no idea who he was wrestling against tonight. And I don't think he could have even predicted that any of these guys could potentially be in this match. All newcomers, except for Nakamura, all looking to get one step ahead in the title hunt. Well, you know, you've got Karrion Cross, you've got Johnny Gargano. This is their first match here in the series. So what a way to, to kind of start. You get your first match, potentially a win. It's, wow, what about that from LA Knight? Sprung off the ropes, Johnny Gargano. Almost stole the win at the other side of the ring as well. Hot start here for those guys. This is going to be chaos, we know that, because you've got four guys who love just to fight, love to compete, all very successful in their own way, all have a lot of potential to go to that next step. You know, I think you could say that any of these four guys, all world championship caliber competitors, so that's what you want to see in this match. You want to see the best of the best compete as Cross with a powerbomb. Goes down Johnny Gargano. Now LA Knight and Karrion Cross will lock up as LA Knight gets him towards the corner. Nakamura though gets in the way. Nakamura is going to come up to Gargano now as LA Knight with the boot to the jaw of Cross. Well, it's been an interesting run for LA Knight uh, so far. His career has taken some twists and turns, but um, you know he had some success down in NXT, come to the main roster and decided to kind of dab a bit of modeling and do something a little bit different. And uh, now he's decided to kind of refocus his career back into the ring and wants to become a champion instead of doing, you know, the modeling thing as uh, a big running slam there by Cross in and he'll get a, a rope break because too close to the ropes after the, the move as LA Knight sprung off the ropes again this time finds nothing but thin air 
as Gargano back in the ring is LA Knight too busy pandering to the crowd and he's going to pay the price bouncing off the top turnbuckle now a couple of shots here to Johnny Gargano trying to get himself going here and oh what about that big time slam spitting him in the air landing down towards the center of the ring chance now to maybe win this match and he's going to go for the submission meanwhile it's Cross and Nakamura battling away they're not too concerned about the chin lock as Gargano breaks the hold as Cross sent Nakamura into the ring steps and now he's got a steel chair Karrion Cross steel chair to the head of Nakamura and it is legal fatal four-way rules oh now a shot to Gargano and again one more time he's hit all three competitors and well LA Knight's been cut open from it as well Karrion Cross bending the rules, happy to do whatever it takes to win this match. That's what he's all about. He will do whatever he has to do. He's sinister. He's just a little bit out there. He's a bit dark. He's a bit, you know, he's just brutal at times the way he competes in the ring. He is dominant. And now, look out. Oh, DDT might have caught some of the chair on the way down as well. Karrion Cross in control right now. Nakamura. Waist lock and oh Nakamura! Nice leg sweep takes Cross off his feet. Cross landed on the chair as well. And now all of a sudden, Carry Cross going from dominating this match to in a precarious position. As oh, what about that from Knight? Quick time slam. Nakamura with a German suplex narrowly misses the steel steel chair. As now Knight sending down Nakamura. LA Knight is on fire. Despite the cut to the, che uh, the cheek, he has looked really good. And now a neck break and a follow up. This could be his moment here. Going for the cover. Close to the ropes. Doesn't put his feet on the ropes, which is certainly something I wouldn't be surprised about if he was going to do so. Big kick to the head as now Knight springs off the ropes. This time lands on Nakamura. Referee's caught up in the middle there in the corner. Look out as Nakamura collapses to the outside of the ring, the steel chair will follow. Three men now left inside the ring. Karrion Cross, LA Knight, Johnny Gargano. Gotta say, at times LA Knight has been in control, and other times it's been Karrion Cross. Both guys looking perhaps the favorites to win here at the moment, in my opinion, as a rear naked choke here from Karrion Cross. He's got his legs wrapped around the body of Gargano, locked in really well. Not enough to get the win though. Hey, Karrion Cross. Now, slammed down by LA Knight. You can see the cut on the right eye of that steel chair. It's not good at all as Johnny's bounced off the top and Cross takes out Nakamura. Now, I think the two guys in control of this match are going to fight it out as Cross sent over the top. LA Knight, great opportunity here. Nakamura is down and the former champion. Hasn't really been able to shine so far in this match. Has not been his, his night so far. Coming off a big tough loss to Kevin Owens. Nakamura's close friend Rick Boogs had some issues with Kevin Owens and uh, Owens was able to get through Boogs and eventually get to Nakamura and defeating him. So Kevin Owens, our new Intercontinental Champion. And we'll see him defended at SummerSlam. Who's it gonna be against though? As Cross trying to take out LA Knight. Meanwhile, Johnny Gargano, he's coming up to cross here. Bold decision to do so, and he can't connect with the suplex. As, oh, Nakamura had his head kicked off by Knight. Karrion Cross trying desperately to fend off Gargano. Now it's back to cross and Knight again. This big heavyweight matchup. And LA Knight, oh, inverted DDT sending down cross. And now it's Knight and Nakamura. LA Knight has him up. Trying to win it here. Gets it. Spins him out. Into the neck breaker. Johnny Gargano though. Coming in to try and save this match from mate being over. And he gets met with a neck breaker of his own. LA Knight is on fire. He looks in control. And right now he's trying to take care of business. Trying to get rid of Gargano out of the situation. Nakamura attempted dropkick, gets blocked though by Knight. Cross is going to get back inside the ring here. And now Knight finding an elbow there to Nakamura. Karen Cross. 
Oh no, he's up here. And Carry Cross, look out. Oh, the body weight of Knight lands down on the shoulders and neck area of Cross. And Karrion is in a big world of trouble right now. Meanwhile, Shinsuke, he's got a great opportunity to strike. He's got some knees now on Knight. Now working away on the arm. Cross though, back to his feet. Surprisingly, that goes to show the durability of Karrion Cross. The toughness on display. And he's just trying to choke out Shinsuke. But he gets kicked in the head by Knight. Well, LA Knight has been incredibly impressive so far. Gargano, he's bleeding in the nose. Well, he did catch a big kick by LA Knight. And now Knight needs to try and break this up because he had the choke hole, but it is a rope break in force. Everyone is suffering the effects of this match. It's been brutal so far. Knight's been bleeding around the eye. Now Gargano around the nose. Nakamura so far. I think he might have a cut as well, actually, yeah. Maybe in the forehead. The only one not bleeding is Karen Cross. Gargano with a kick there. As now Nakamura tried to line up Johnny Gargano. And now Gargano catches him out here. Look out. Gargano's got the submission. I think the rope break may have been enforced though. But the, has the damage been done to Nakamura? How can he kick out? Yes. It is over. Johnny Gargano takes care of business. Nakamura surviving the submission. But had had so much already done kicks to the head was bleeding was in a bad way and Johnny Gargano sneaks in steals this win and is able to call himself the new number one contender what a win by Johnny Gargano his first match here on Smackdown in the series and he scores himself a massive win what a match though love the way that Karrion Cross and LA Knight went about it both guys look really good Nakamura just feel like he was feeling a little bit tired and jaded after a tough pay-per-view match. Was not at his best tonight. Gargano takes advantage. And Johnny Gargano now will have to go one-on-one -on -one with Kevin Owens for the Intercontinental Championship. Will we see Johnny Gargano score another win to win yet again another championship in his illustrious career? Also in this week's episode of SmackDown, Mandy Rose and Becky Lynch one-on-one. -on -one. Butch will go one-on-one -on -one with Chad Gable. We'll see tag team action with the new champions, the sequel alliance up against Via and Jinder Mahal. And we'll have a one-on-one -on -one match as Dakota Kai goes one-on-one -on -one with Dana Brooke. And we'll also see Drew McIntyre, Big E in singles action. And what a main event we've got for you. Two huge stars, AJ Styles, Cody Rhodes, one-on-one -on -one as Rhodes prepares for SummerSlam. Becky Lynch gets a win over Mandy Rose. It is Butch with a win over Gable. We'll see Ezekiel and Elias, the new tag team champions, back up their win with another one here tonight. And Dakota Kai, too good for Dana Brooke. And Drew McIntyre secures a huge win over a big, big man and Big E. Now it's time for Styles and Rhodes, one-on-one. -on -one. Well, what a main event we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. AJ Styles, Fresh off an opportunity at the WWE Championship at Payback. Gets another shot at some redemption tonight because he's looking to secure a win over the man that is now going to face Seth Rollins next for the championship, Cody Rhodes. Styles, four wins, four losses so far in the series. It's been a mixed bag of results. Hasn't been what he's hoped. He hasn't had the championship success he would have liked. He's had shots at the Intercontinental Championship and he lost. He's had a shot now at the WWE Championship and he lost. What is next for AJ Styles? That's the question. Where does he go to from here? Well, what he's going to try and do tonight is beat Cody Rhodes. That will at least be a huge confidence boost and it could even put him back into the mix for the championship. Now the man who is known as Mr. Money in the Bank, Cody Rhodes. We know he's going to cash in that briefcase at SummerSlam. He announced it at Payback when he confronted Seth Rollins. He said, Seth, I'll see you at SummerSlam. Five wins, no losses to the name of Cody Rhodes. It's been a heck of a return so far to the WWE for Mr. Rhodes. And tonight, the American Nightmare looks to secure his sixth victory in a row. He's going to have to do it by beating the phenomenal AJ Styles. That could be 
as difficult as beating Seth Rollins at SummerSlam. Styles has, as we said, been up and down, but there's no doubt about it, one of the best wrestlers right now in the WWE. Cody Rhodes, though, the form that he's in, he's on a huge hot streak. Six wins in a row he's looking for tonight. Can he secure it? We're about to find out as Rhodes with a big time spine buster. What a start here to this match. Shoulders down here, trouble here for Styles, and a kick out. Styles almost caught out immediately by Cody Rhodes. Well, we don't see too many competitors cash in money in the bank by letting their opponents know in advance when they're going to do it as Rhodes. What about that? Sprung off the ropes, landing down on Styles. Rhodes is doing it. You know, I remember Rob Van Dam doing it years and years ago when he cashed in for ECW. And look, it, it can be done and it can work. Sometimes it's a huge risk in, look, I don't know if Cody Rhodes is making the right choice here. He could have easily cashed in on Rollins that money at the Payback Pay View, using the Money in the Bank briefcase to do so. And he could have won the championship that night. He could have waited until Rollins had an opponent for SummerSlam, cashed in at the Pay View. But instead, you know, Rhodes wants to do what he feels as though is the right thing. A fair opportunity for the championship. Cody Rhodes wants to win the championship by proving that he could do it when his opponent was 100% fresh, ready to go, no excuses, no asterisks, a legitimate one-on-one -on -one clash for the championship. That's what Rhodes wants, and that's what we're going to get at SummerSlam. So that's a big question now for Rhodes. Will he make the ultimate mistake? Well, sometimes you cash in money in the bank and you lose, even though you've got your opponent right where you want them because the adrenaline is pumping, the pressure is on. Now Rhodes, he's got, you know... Four weeks to think about it. He's got time to prepare. He knows I'm going to have this match at the pay-per-view. He can train for Rollins. He can prepare for Rollins. Because sometimes in the back of your mind, you might be thinking, I'm going to cash in. I'm going to try and cash in after that match. But sometimes it doesn't work out that way. There might be a new champion. Their opponent might get a quick win. They might still be fresh. So you can plan and train and train and train for that moment. But that moment may not come. Now Rhodes knows 100% I'm competing against Rollins for the championship at the pay-per-view. He can prepare for that night, prepare for that match. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a heck of a contest. Rollins and Rhodes. And Styles up top. Oh, what about that from AJ Styles. Cox through to the air. Lands down on Rhodes. Could be here for Cody. A kick out of two, though. Well, I don't necessarily agree with what Rhodes is doing, but I admire the, the risk. I ro admire the fact that he wants to do it the right way. And hopefully for his sake, it works out well for him. But if he loses, there's going to be a lot of regret. And a lot of people saying, I told you so. You shouldn't have done it. And we'll have to wait and find out how it plays out. As Styles against the ropes. Chops out the knee, but misses. Rhodes back to his feet now. And Styles and Inziguri. Well, AJ, he had a, a really good match against Seth Rollins. He, he fought really hard. He, he was close to beating Rollins on that night, but it just didn't work out that way. Great chance now to rebound and get a win here over Rhodes. Give Cody his first loss and really get himself back in the mix. We know who's going to face Kevin Owens for the Intercontinental Championship, so that's not going to be a match that AJ Styles is going to be able to get and we know Rhodes is going to face Rollins for the championship at SummerSlam. So there's no singles matches that, you know, for a championship that Styles could secure right now. So Styles is in a tough position. Can he somehow force a triple threat? Can he find a new opponent? But it's looking like Styles is going to miss out on being a part of SummerSlam. Can he find a tag team partner quickly? He might have to. There's a neck breaker there by AJ. Styles now heading to the top of the rope here. Looking to fly. Here comes Styles. Oh, he went for the corkscrew leg drop again. Missing as this time Rhodes able to avoid it and evade. And Styles, though, still in control. Rhodes can't take advantage. Cody with a couple of lefts and rights now. Building some momentum. He tosses Styles to the other side of the ring. Looking good now as Cody. Rhodes now has both arms of Styles. Picks him up. Great power. And he tosses down AJ. Rhodes going to grab a hold of AJ, bring him up. There's now Cody. Oh, hang on. What has he got planned here? 
Cody Rhodes looking for that vertebraker potentially. He's got him up. Cody, oh my goodness. Picks up Styles. Styles landing on his neck. Got to be it for AJ, but a kick out of two. Rhodes can't believe it. Wow. What a move there by Cody Rhodes. AJ Styles is in a lot of trouble. Rhodes thought about the crossroads, I think, but he couldn't get it. Styles, though, calf crusher, but Rhodes boot right on the rope. Ah, oh, that's a tough break there for AJ. Found the calf crusher, couldn't get it done, though. But now, hang on, he's looking for the Styles clash. He got it! AJ Styles, Styles goes, he's close to the ropes again. Cody Rhodes gets his hand underneath the rope again. AJ, what is he doing? He's making two huge mistakes that you normally wouldn't see him do. Has the pressure got to him? You know, AJ Styles is coming off a big loss. He wants this win badly, but he's not doing the fundamentals. He's not doing the basics right here. AJ with two huge critical errors. Cody Rhodes, he landed on his nose after that Styles clash. It's bleeding. And AJ could really take advantage here. As he's got, got Cody Rhodes up, drives the knee into, sorry, drives the knee into the shoulder of Rhodes. Finds nothing but the canvas as he went for a splash. Rhodes went for a big right hand. He really got that arm cork, uh, pulled it back, went for a big punch to the face. Couldn't get it. Now Styles trying to fend off Rhodes. Cody gets him down. And now Cody Rhodes. Wisely gets Styles away from the ropes. I'm not sure what he's wasting a bit of time here. He was going a bit too close to the ropes for a second there. Don't think he's going to get the win here because he's wasted a lot of time and only a one count. Not sure what Rose is thinking there. I'm sure Seth Rollins, the current champion, he's watching on, eagerly waiting to see whether Cody Rhodes can secure this win to put himself one step closer to SummerSlam. This could be Rhodes' last big hit out before SummerSlam. It's potentially his last single smash before the pay-per-view. He wants a win. Rhodes drops an elbow. Lands down on the chest of Styles. What a big elbow drop. Rhodes, big time springboard kick right to the face. The disaster kick by Rhodes. Now, AJ Styles is reeling. He's in trouble from behind. Cross Rhodes. Tosses him over, closer to the center of the ring. And a three count. Cody Rhodes with a massive win over the former number one contender, the new number one contender Rhodes. The man who'll face Seth Rollins at SummerSlam gets a crucial win tonight. Well, that is a win that is going to give him the confidence that he'll need to take on the current champion. Styles was close. Styles clash, calf crusher, two rope breaks, two crucial mistakes that cost him. Cody Rhodes though, what a win tonight for him. Seth Rollins awaits at SummerSlam. Can't wait to see how that will all play out, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Universe Mode. If you enjoyed it, leave a like on it and subscribe for more episodes coming away just before SummerSlam. Coming away very soon.